what a fantastic day i tell you what it's going to be just a wonderful time out there on the water we're going to be doing some scouting and you're going to be coming along i can't wait to get out there and start hooking lips Don't be camera shy, buddy. Is Daddy going fishing? Good girl. Well, my wife would be killing me right now, listening to country music. This one's for you, Jess got some new water I want to try today this time of year we're in the middle of the summer it's hot water temperatures are up we want to find some of those deep pockets and we want to find some current too usually this time of year fish are going to be more concentrated together finding that deeper water finding some of that cooler water so that's exactly what we're going to be looking for today a very common question I get asked is Nick how do you know the fish was there what what's What's telling you that the fish is, is in this area? There's only a few things I look at when I'm looking for fish. I look for deep water. The deeper the water, the more fish can actually hold in that, in that particular area. The next thing I look for is current. I'm not necessarily looking for white water current. I'm looking for maybe those deep, slower moving runs. And when we talk run, we're talking about a section of the river. We're seeing how deep is it and how consistent does that depth say 10 15 yards consistent depth or does it gradually get deeper through the run I'm also looking for structure rock structure in the middle of the river maybe tree overhang maybe there's a log up against the bank all of that structure is gonna gonna be really good habitat for bait fish to hold and hide but also those uh, the trout will also use that structure to hide behind out of the current and potentially ambush insects and prey you know coming down that run we're going to start pointing out these specific variables that i'm looking at whenever i'm looking for fish habitat all right you guys have listened to me ramble long enough about this let's get down on the water and let's start hooking lips all right we're at our first spot the first thing I look at when I'm finding a new spot for clients is accessibility from where we park to where the river's at. Looks like that there's a nice trail here entering and then we get to the river. Not too far of a walk. At the first spot and it's actually pristine fishing water for sure. Up top, white water, nice current. Coming into that deep green section, you see that big deep green section right there, that's where those trout are gonna lay low. You got a rock over there, just off the, off the edge. And this is a nice long run with consistent depth, pretty much all the way down, maybe about 20 yards. We're gonna get some lines wet, hopefully hooking lips. Another good section down here, you got this log overhang, and just in front of there, nice shade, so good habitat for trout for sure. Another thing I'm thinking about here, nice easy access down in the water, but of course I can spread out several clients along this stretch because all, all of this water here can hold trout. And so definitely a great spot for maybe a three, four person trip or disabled client. Um, really easy walk, can set up a chair here. It's nice and flat. We can get in the water, you can help out right there hook some lips, come back, take a rest. It's a great spot for sure. All right, hooked up in our run here. Looks like a nice brown trout on a stone fly. Let's see if I can get him in the net. There he is, hooking lips. That's a gorgeous fish right there. See you, buddy. So the scout trip paid off. I ended up catching this one down lower in this deep nice pool right here. So our fast current came in and then these fish are just kind of staged down laying low and deep right now. Kind of rest and the sun's getting high up above them. We're going to keep on pushing through a little bit. We'll cover a little bit more water but safe to say I found a great spot. 
we nabbed another one here. This time he hit the case caddis fly on the top. Hooking lips. We're going to walk upstream a little bit and then we're going to call it a day. We're getting close to noon now and I can tell the fish are slowing down. My bites are getting few and far between. Let's see if we can't go hook some more lifts. This whole stretch right here is only about a foot deep. Not to say a fish won't hold in that. There might be one right here behind that rock. But usually we expect to find those fish there early spring when the water temperature is much cooler. As we get into the summer like we are now, these fish are finding the deeper water where it's a little bit cooler down low. I'm passing this up and we're going to try to find some deeper holes. Alright, last one of the day. Pretty red colors on them. And with that, we're going to call it a day here. We had us a nice scout trip. Really appreciate you tuning in and just hit that like, subscribe, so you get uh, all the action as it reels in. Hope you guys have a great day. Fish on.